Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. <clears throat> Coming at you, ECB Thursday. It's 29th of October. Getting towards Halloween. Seems sort of juste, as they say in France. Seems very just. We're heading into this holiday where everyone is supposed to be afraid. Um. Lots of fear here in Europe. Fear of the unknown, fear of the lockdown, fear of the economy, fear of the virus, fear of the elections. Uh, even here in Switzerland, where we really have no reason to fear anything. We live in a bubble. It's clean and safe and, you know, first world problems like stupid first world shit, but... No real problems here. Uh, people are afraid. So, it is what it is. Uh, trading through this, you just got to try and take advantage of it as best you can, right? So, yesterday we were, we talked about Aussie Yen, we talked about Euro Yen, um, talked about Dollar Czar, the next 100 handles. Today we're going to be moving on uh, with a similar theme but yet in a smash and grab way, right? So at the end of the day yesterday on the tactical book, we just squared everything up. And today we can take a fresh look and say, hmm, first let's look at um, dollar czar. Dollar czar is kind of a classic double bottom low here. Two dojis, two indecisive bars at the bottom of the range, it needed to resolve itself. It could have gone either way. It would have been incredibly uh, bearish signal if we had closed below 09. But now it's a pretty bullish signal closing uh, above 32. 25 was yesterday's high, so that's probably gonna be support today. You wanna try and collect dollar czar. This tail is, I would say, very dollar czar-esque but not super bullish. So just be careful here. You're not pushing all your chips in, but you're just playing it from the long side. Don't give away yesterday's PL. Trying to be a hero today. We're heading into an election. Uh, you want to keep it nimble and play smash and grab. Uh, that's my advice. Because if there's a huge, big blue wave, there's every chance that dollar EM gets smashed. Of course, that's Tuesday. Today's Thursday. Um, you know, it's a million miles in the future in FX terms. Today, we're trying to be long dollars are. Dollar Max, which we did not participate in yesterday, is exactly the same chart. You could argue it's even more bullish, less of a tail on this daily bar here. Um, if you don't like dollars are, um, Try and pick up some dollar max, I don't know, around 2114, 21, um, 2110 to 2114. This is an election trade. Big blue wave, crushed dollar max through 2084. Um, as you can see, I have no bias here. I don't really give a crap where it goes. Uh, just got to try and make money, right? Who cares if dollar Mexico is higher or lower? Never even been to Mexico. Although I'd love to go to Mexico City. Looks like uh, looks pretty awesome. Anyway, dollar yen. Uh, one of the reasons that things didn't follow through is dollar yen didn't collaborate. This psychologically will just be very important. I think could mean a lot of things are happening. It's just a big old level, 104. Uh, yesterday we we got close, down to 104.10. Uh, we did see some local bids on the fi at the figure. So there'll be some two-way interest there. There'll be some options protection there. I think there was about 250 million sitting around uh, figure two area. So, I do think this is going to trade. I don't have massive conviction on it. Dollar Yen's been like, uh, you know, 
a dick suck uh, for most of the year, so I'm not going to like burn down the house for it, but it needs to be traded. 104 the figure. If you're a bull, you want to buy it there between 05 and 95. If you're a bear, uh, bring your sledgehammer and uh, try and break some kneecaps through the figure. Uh, what else? Euro yen. This is like the lockdown trade. The bingo number was 40, right? 123.40, which was late Tuesday night on the sort of Macron news. It's weird how when a French guy talks and moves the entire market, that's rare. Uh, but the old Mac Daddy did it. This is your resistance now. Can this go a lot lower? Yes, it can. Uh, do you want to enter fresh shorts at 68? I would argue in the tactical book, no. You do not try and enter them between 122.95 and 123.40. Let's go to dollar China. This guy's been a good harbinger of what the hell is going on out here. Dollar's lower today against dollar China, which I find odd. Um, Aussie hasn't moved. I haven't been following the news over there too much, but we've created like this long-term pivot. If you look over here on the 14th of the month, we had this, we had this, uh, and then if you go back, this point here was a real supportive pivot, six, six seventy four, thirty seven. Um, or what was the actual low? Sorry, six seventy four oh three, and now we've printed up here um, this high is six seventy three seventy six. So there's a little bit of a gap here. It's not really a tradable moment. Looks a bit sloppy, a little bit of a slutty, uh, slutty pivot. Uh, but just something to watch, even if you don't like to trade it. The pips are weird, and it's, you know, seven big figures for a percent. So, like, if you're used to trading G10, it, sometimes you get confused. You're like, oh, I made 100 points. Uh, in dollar China, you, you know, you can't buy an ice cream cone um, with that. So, but just keep an eye on this uh, 674 pivot area. Not close for now. Gold. Did a little bit of a shim sham, Ethiopian shim sham yesterday, down to 68. Uh, 85 was the first bingo number. Then we had the good action below 76. Uh, gold does not look great, but it's holding in there. I thought we were going to have a 50 or $60 down day yesterday, um, but it held in there. There will be stops below 51. Do you want to buy gold on heavy liquidation? Yes. Is everyone trying to buy gold on heavy liquidation? Yes. So it's going to be choppy. Um, but will there be more liquidation? Uh, could be. Uh, who knows? Let's go to Euro today, ECB today. Obviously, this trend line uh, worked pretty well yesterday. 65 was that bingo number. We can't really, we haven't been ever really to get back even to 65, 60 has been the high. Uh, between 60 and 70, it's a sell today. Use this as a death knock one time. Keep it tight. Don't marry it. Um, ECB today. So I don't expect anything interesting from the ECB, to be fair. I guess they could be dovish in some weird way, but... Um, Keep it light in Euro until we get uh, Chrissy, Chrissy L on the turntables, which is 2.30 this afternoon, so loads of time. What else am I looking at? Oh, yeah, ZB slot. Look at this. We talked about three handles higher. We actually had offers at 174.31. Um, looked like an now you look look like an ass if you didn't get filled up there. Uh, we weren't paying as close attention as we should have because we were doing some other shit in the currency world. Uh, we did hit some 20s, but that was your chance. 
this is your three handle squeeze this happens a lot three handle squeeze here three handle squeeze here um, <clears throat> no matter who wins on Tuesday bonds go lower uh, and you just have to manage the liquidity obviously the market is pretty is, you know according to CFTC data the market is short but I think ZB is going lower. That's all I got for you, really. Uh, oh, yeah, Dollar Cad. This level has caused me much grief this year. Many of you will remember it. 133.40. So many of you will remember this day here, this bullish engulfing day on the 6th of October when we were like, holy Jesus. Dollar cad's gonna explode. It popped through this uh, 30 level in Asia, traded up to 40, came in and it was 06. Uh, equities were a little ropey at the time. Anyway, make a long story short, these are the kind of levels that you never forget and that because you never forget them, they remain important. I'm not surprised at all that we traded up there. Uh, yesterday we traded up to 133.34 um, through these highs is important 40 for me is the bingo number um, you could use 34 maybe but it was very strong resistance up there last time um, there was a huge seller at 30 and then they they snapped it in Asia for a bullshit break and then bang, three big down days, 131.08. A lot of guys got caught here. I bring this up, you just need to watch it closely. Uh, BOC didn't say too much, a um, little bit dovish. I would say it was more neutral than anything, but 133.40, keep it in mind, it's a very, very important level. Finally, Euro was a huge bullish engulfing. Um, this looks like it's set to go higher been very hard to trade your OASI and ECB today so careful on your risk management all right I've said enough um, trading dollars are from the long side we're gonna be selling rallies in Aussie yen today um, and as far as new trades are concerned we'll be watching very closely this dollar CAD level uh, and keeping things close to the vest smash and grab Good luck out there, people. Go ahead and make some dough. Talk to you tomorrow.